Hello everybody, today we'll compare SAS versus LESS. So what should you choose? I think that it doesn't matter. Why? I will tell you soon. Well, both of them have lots of advantages. They both can generate errors when we do something wrong. They both have algorithm that is automatically compressing your size. So it's really, really cool because in the result it will make your output CSS smaller and because of it your website will load l faster, okay? And you need to remember that in the same time it allows you to have single compressed CSS file and in the same time a version where you can view everything clearly which makes your code easy to maintain. So they both give you this thing. They both allows you to modularize your code, which means that you can make many parts of the SAS or less files. And it's easier to maintain your code uh, because of it. But in the end, you will have still as an output only one single file. It is really cool because you are minimizing how many requests are to your server. And because of it, your website will load faster. Really, this is one of the things that makes people websites load slow because the connection between uh, website and, uh, and uh, user of your website um, takes the most time. And when you have to connect for each file, each time it takes time, okay? And they both have online compilators, they both have great documentation, and I think they both have awesome, really awesome features like variables, mixings, but we'll talk about all these awesome features in the future, in this course, in this course, right? So what are advantages and disadvantages of SAS when we look at the less? I think that advantages that SAS has, and it's really very big advantage, is that it has something what is called Compass. It's a framework, it's some kind of library with lots of useful tools and functions. Uh, for sprites, mixings, vendor prefixes, I will talk about these things later, okay? But well, uh, there will be a second course about Compass because this course is already very long and um, you will, um, maybe it's already online, you can check because I don't know when you are um, watching this video, but this library is really great. And SAS is also easier for people who knows PHP, why? Because, well, because of their programming habits, you will see soon why, why I think so. And well, it has more advanced features than less. But you know, when something is very advanced, it's also used very rarely. I think that SAS and less was created so you could save your precious time so we could manage your code easier and maintain it. And some of these advanced things aren't I think most time the best idea to use, okay? Because if you overuse something just for fun, just to show people that you can use it, it's not the way it should be, okay? And well, SAS can do math operation on any units. It can mix them. Less can also do math operations, so don't worry. It's a cool feature with both of them, but it can only do it on the same unit types, okay? What is the disadvantage? Well, the truth is I don't know if it is a disadvantage. <laughs> That's why I have here a question mark, because it might be for some people. Uh, SAS requires Ruby, um, which is pronounced Ruby or something like that. And in order to run, uh, to run the SAS, you need this Ruby, okay? And it's hard to insult for some pe people, but you know, you are gonna watch this course, so this is not a disadvantage. It will not matter for you because you're watching my course and everything will be perfectly uh, explained. So, so 
What are advantages and disadvantages of less? I think the advantages is that less returns easier to understand error logs. And really for the person who has never programmed anything, it might be helpful, okay, to, f to spot errors with the less. But well, SAS is also reporting errors, so you will find them, but they are a bit uh, weird. <laughs> Less also has something like namespaces, which adds another la layer to organization. Um, so maybe your code will be a bit more organized, but well, it's just a small feature. Less is easier to install. So I also have here a question mark because, well, it can be invoked with JavaScript file just through linking in HTML file. So it's easy to install, we are just putting it into HTML, downloading it and well, it works. But it has also a disadvantage, big disadvantage, because it's slower and we, why Why you would want to compile everything on fly <laughs> um, by the user computer instead of doing it pre, um, pre, pre sending it to the, uh, to the, to the server, right? And well, what is a disadvantage of less? I think that less can do only math operation with the same unit. And this is a disadvantage. And of course, it's, there is a big disadvantage because it doesn't have compass. <laughs> it also has some libraries, but it's not like a compass. Okay. So now what is the result of that comparison? None of them won, I think. Learn life, the one that you like more. If you know SAS, you can learn less almost instantly and vice versa. So, you know less, you can learn SAS. I think you will be happy knowing any of them. And you are probably gonna want to ask me, what would I choose? What would? <laughs> I mistype here. I would choose SAS. Why? because it has a compass. That's really great tool. And I will talk about in second course. And here I will give you a, a sample of comparison between these two languages. It was created by Chris Epstein. I'm not sure if I pronounce it good. I'm sorry if not. This guy is a creator of Compass and he's all also a call creator. He is in the team of creation of SAS. And as you can see, the variables in SAS are defined that way in the last that way. So they only differ by this sign here. As in, if you know PHP, this thing will be easier for you, right? The SAS, SAS one. But it's only a preference, right? What, what, you, what is easier for you to read? Choose this one, right? Of course, I will teach you what is variable, how to use them, how to name and other things like that. I'm just showing this comparison now. Uh, just to show you what's, what what differs them from each other. As you can see, nested selectors, hey, that looks the same. When you look here, here we have a mix and we have a dot. Uh, here we have something like include border here. We just type this thing and it works. So you know, it's just cosmetic things, right? I think for me as a programmer, the SAS is easier. Maybe for the beginner less might be easier, but I think for for reading it later, for understanding the SAS will be better. Okay, so let's go down. Here we have some colors, functions, and less has got also the numbers. As you can see, here is this problem that you can multiply different units uh, and it works fine, but in the less you cannot do it. Uh, conditional statements that will look a bit different uh, and the last has namespace. So the truth is that they look almost the same and whatever you like, choose the one that you want, that you need. 
Uh, I would choose SAS if you haven't never done anything like preprocessing because it has got a compass and because you are choosing my course you will install it pretty easy you won't have problems with installing so there is no disadvantage here just choose the SAS and have fun <laughs>